Have you ever wondered about the missions that have been sent to Mars? From the earliest days of stargazing, Mars has captivated the human imagination. Ancient astronomers watched it move across the sky, its reddish hue sparking tales of war and bloodshed. Fast forward to the 20th century, the fascination with Mars took a more scientific turn. The 1960s heralded the first attempted missions to the Red Planet, marking the dawn of a new era in space exploration. As we entered the 21st century, this fascination intensified. With advancements in technology and a growing understanding of the planet, Mars became not just a point of interest, but a potential destination. Every mission, every rover sent, represents a step closer to answering the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? The red planet, once a distant fiery point in the night sky, is now within our reach. Now, let's delve into these exciting missions that have sought to unravel the mysteries of the red planet. The Viking missions of the 1970s marked a significant milestone in Mars exploration. In the mid-70s, NASA launched the ambitious Viking program. Comprising two spacecraft, Viking 1 and Viking 2, the missions aim to conduct detailed examinations of the Martian surface and atmosphere. The goals were both audacious and pioneering, to seek out signs of life and study the Martian environment. Viking 1, launched in August 1975, arrived at Mars after a 10-month journey through space. In July of the following year, it made history by becoming the first spacecraft to successfully land on the Red Planet. The landing site, a flat, rock-strewn plain known as Kreisplanitia, became the setting for the first close-up images of Mars's surface. Viking 2, following its sister ship's lead, arrived at Mars in August 1976 and landed in Utopia Planitia, a vast Martian plain. It too began relaying back detailed images and critical data, painting a more comprehensive picture of this alien world. The Vikings were equipped with a suite of scientific instruments designed to analyze the Martian soil, atmosphere and weather. One experiment in particular sought to answer a question that has intrigued humanity for centuries. Is there life on Mars? The results were intriguing, yet inconclusive. Although they didn't find definitive evidence of biological activity, the Viking missions did discover complex organic molecules, the building blocks of life. These groundbreaking missions gave us our first in-depth look at Mars, transforming our understanding of the planet. The data and images Viking 1 and 2 collected have been invaluable in shaping subsequent Mars missions. From studying the Martian soil to weather patterns, the Vikings provided a wealth of information that continues to inform our understanding of Mars today. The Viking missions were more than just technological achievements, they were a testament to human curiosity and the desire to explore the unknown. They sparked a new era of Mars exploration, paving the way for the rovers and orbiters that followed. The Viking missions laid the groundwork for future Mars exploration. The turn of the century saw the advent of Mars rovers, starting with Sojourner and Spirit. The Mars Pathfinder mission, launched in late 1996, was a significant milestone in Mars exploration. This mission was tasked with demonstrating a low-cost method for delivering a set of science instruments to Mars, and it did so brilliantly. The star of the show was the Sojourner rover, a microwave-sized, six-wheeled explorer that became our eyes and ears on the Martian surface. Sojourner might have been small, but it was mighty. For 83 Martian days known as Sols, it navigated the rocky terrain, analyzing the composition of rocks and soil. It provided us with a wealth of information, revealing that Mars was once warmer and wetter, with conditions that could have possibly supported life. As the new millennium dawned, we sent another rover to Mars. This time, it was Spirit, a golf cart-sized rover that was part of the Mars Exploration Rover mission. Spirit arrived on Mars in early 2004 and was designed to operate for 90 sols. But in a testament to human engineering and ingenuity, Spirit exceeded all expectations and continued its mission for over six years. Spirit's most significant discovery was uncovering evidence of past water activity on Mars. But it wasn't all smooth sailing for Spirit. It faced several challenges, 
including a dust storm that blocked sunlight from reaching its solar panels and a sand trap that eventually led to the end of its mission. But even in its immobile state, Spirit continued to provide valuable scientific data. The contributions of Sojourner and Spirit cannot be overstated. These rovers were pioneers, venturing into the unknown and providing humanity with a close-up view of Mars for the first time. They faced and overcame obstacles, persevered in the face of adversity, and in doing so, expanded our understanding of our celestial neighbor. These rovers expanded our understanding of Mars, paving the way for more advanced robotic explorers. Following in Spirit's tracks, opportunity and curiosity took Mars' exploration to new heights. And what a journey it has been! Opportunity, the third rover to reach Mars, was only designed to last 90 Martian days, but it exceeded all expectations by operating for nearly 15 years. Its twin rover, Spirit, may have stolen some of the early limelight, yet Opportunity soon emerged as the marathon runner of space exploration, covering more than a marathon's distance across the Martian terrain. Opportunity's mission? To seek out signs of past water on Mars, and it delivered. It found evidence of minerals that form in water, including jarosite, which forms in acidic water. It also discovered tiny iron-rich spheres nicknamed blueberries, believed to have formed in liquid water. This evidence supported the theory that Mars once had a wetter, potentially more hospitable environment. Then came Curiosity, the car-sized rover that landed on Mars in 2012. It was equipped with 10 scientific instruments designed to study the Martian climate and geology and to assess whether Mars ever had an environment able to support small life forms. Curiosity's landing site, Gale Crater, was chosen for its potential to preserve signs of past water. And Curiosity did not disappoint. It discovered rounded pebbles, an indication of ancient river flow. It also detected organic molecules, the building blocks of life, and found fluctuating levels of methane in the Martian atmosphere. But perhaps Curiosity's most significant finding was that Mars could have supported microbial life in the ancient past. From drilling into Martian rocks, Curiosity found evidence of sulfur, nitrogen, hydrogen, oxygen, phosphorus and carbon, key ingredients for life. These rovers not only expanded our knowledge of Mars, but also captured the public's imagination. They painted a picture of a world not so different from our own, a world where water flowed and life may have once flourished. They showed us that Mars, the red planet, might once have been a blue planet much like Earth. With every discovery, they have brought us one step closer to answering the age-old question, are we alone in the universe? The InSight and Perseverance missions represent the latest advancements in Mars exploration. Our journey continues with the InSight mission, a true marvel of technology that made its way to the Martian surface in November of 2018. Unlike its rover siblings, InSight was designed as a stationary lander. Its mission, an ambitious one, to delve beneath the surface and study Mars's deep interior. Armed with a suite of cutting-edge instruments, InSight has been taking the pulse of the red planet quite literally. Its seismometer, the most sensitive ever sent to another world, has been detecting and measuring Mars quakes, giving us unprecedented insights into the planet's internal structure. Now let's shift our focus to the most recent arrival on Mars, the Perseverance rover. Landing in February of 2021, Perseverance's primary mission is nothing short of extraordinary to seek out signs of ancient life. The rover is exploring Jezero Crater, a place believed to have once held a lake billions of years ago. Armed with a suite of scientific instruments, Perseverance is examining the crater's rocks and soil for clues of past microbial life. But that's not all. Perseverance is also paving the way for future human exploration of Mars. It's testing new technology for producing oxygen from the Martian atmosphere, a crucial step for human survival on Mars. And let's not forget, hitching a ride on Perseverance was Ingenuity, the first helicopter to fly on another planet, demonstrating the potential for new modes of exploration. 
From the core of Mars to the possibility of ancient life and the preparation for future human missions, the InSight and Perseverance missions represent an exciting era of Martian exploration. Each discovery and technological breakthrough brings us one step closer to understanding our planetary neighbor and potentially setting foot on its surface. These missions continue to push the boundaries of what we can achieve on Mars. Looking ahead, the planned Mars Sample Return mission promises to make history. Imagine this, a mission that not only ventures to Mars, but also brings a piece of the red planet back to Earth. That's the audacious goal of the Mars Sample Return mission, a collaborative effort between NASA and the European Space Agency. This mission aims to collect and return samples from Mars, a feat that has never been accomplished before. The plan is not just ambitious, it's a complex, multi-part endeavor that involves multiple spacecrafts and intricate maneuvers, both on Mars and in space. The first part of the mission involves the Perseverance rover currently on Mars, collecting and preparing the samples. It's been drilling and scooping Martian soil and rocks, carefully storing them in hermetically sealed tubes, ready for the next stages of the mission. Next, a fetch rover will be launched, tasked with collecting the stored samples. It's a bit like a cosmic game of fetch, with the rover playing the part of the dog, retrieving the precious cargo and bringing it back to the lander. The lander then plays its part. It's equipped with a small rocket known as the Mars Ascent Vehicle. This rocket will do something extraordinary. It will launch from another planet. Its cargo, the carefully collected Martian samples. But the journey isn't over yet. An Earth return orbiter waiting in Mars' orbit will capture the sample container in space, then start its long journey back to Earth. Once back on Earth, scientists from all around the world will be able to study these Martian samples in their labs. They'll be looking for signs of past or present life, investigating Mars's geology and climate, and gathering data to help future human exploration of Mars. This mission, if successful, will not only be a historic feat of space exploration, it could fundamentally change our understanding of Mars and our place in the universe. This ambitious mission could bring us one step closer to answering the question, was there ever life on Mars? Beyond robotic explorers, plans are underway for the first human missions to Mars. As we step into the future, two key players have emerged in this race. NASA, with its Artemis program, and SpaceX, with its ambitious Starship project. The Artemis program, named after the twin sister of Apollo in Greek mythology, seeks to return humans to the moon by 2024 as a stepping stone towards Mars. With Artemis, NASA aims to establish sustainable human exploration by the end of the decade. The moon will serve as a testing ground for the technologies and systems needed for future Martian missions. Imagine astronauts living and working on another celestial body honing their skills and gaining the expertise necessary for the long journey to Mars. On the other hand, SpaceX's Starship, a fully reusable spacecraft currently under development, has a more direct approach. Elon Musk, the founder of SpaceX, envisions a future where humans are a multi-planetary species with Mars serving as a second home. Musk plans to send the first crewed mission to Mars as early as the mid-2020s, aiming to establish a self-sustaining colony on the Red Planet. But these ambitious plans are not without challenges. Mars is a harsh, unforgiving world, with a thin atmosphere, frigid temperatures, and a surface blasted by solar radiation. Long-term human survival will require advanced technologies, from life support systems to radiation shielding, and from in-situ resource utilization to advanced robotics. However, the potential benefits are enormous. Human exploration of Mars could yield groundbreaking scientific discoveries, from the potential for past or present life to insights into the planet's geological history. Moreover, the technological innovations spurred by these missions could have far-reaching impacts, transforming industries and economies back on Earth. These plans represent the next giant leap in our exploration of the Red Planet. As we stand on the brink of this new era, we can only imagine the wonders that await us on Mars. From the Viking landers to future human missions, Mars exploration has truly come a long way. 
Let's take a moment to reflect on this remarkable journey through space and time. The Viking missions in the late 70s were our first real touch points, sending back invaluable data and images of the Martian landscape. The twin landers, Viking 1 and 2, paved the way for future missions, setting the stage for a deeper understanding of our celestial neighbor. Then came the rovers, Sojourner and Spirit, each one a testament to human ingenuity and the thirst for knowledge. They roamed the Martian terrain, overcoming challenges and providing us a closer look at Mars than ever before. Spirit in particular outlived its expected lifespan by several years, a true testament to engineering excellence. The baton was then passed on to opportunity and curiosity. These rovers took Mars exploration to new heights, making groundbreaking discoveries about the planet's past and potential for life. Curiosity, with its advanced scientific instruments, continues to explore and analyze the Martian surface, contributing to our growing understanding of the Red Planet. Insight and Perseverance, the latest in this lineage of explorers, have their own unique missions. Insight is delving deep into the Martian crust, studying seismic activity, while Perseverance is on a quest for signs of ancient microbial life and preparing the way for future sample return missions. And let's not forget the future of Mars exploration. The Mars sample return mission is set to bring back Martian soil and rock samples to Earth for the first time. Beyond that, plans are in place for human exploration of Mars. NASA and SpaceX, among others, are preparing for this next giant leap for humankind. From understanding Mars's geology and climate to searching for signs of life, these missions have vastly expanded our knowledge of Mars. Each one is a stepping stone, a link in the chain of human curiosity and exploration. As we continue to explore Mars, who knows what exciting discoveries await us on the Red Planet? Before we end this intriguing journey across Mars, we want to hear from you. Did you learn something new in this video? What are your thoughts about the future of Mars exploration? Would you sign up for a trip to the Red Planet? Let's turn the comment section into a hub for space enthusiasts. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like and share it with your friends and families. Your support helps us create more content like this. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos. Remember, every small step we take in understanding our universe, every rover we send to a distant planet, and every question we ask about our place in the cosmos helps us become a more knowledgeable species. So keep exploring, keep learning, and most importantly, keep sharing the wonders of space. Until next time, stay curious and keep looking up.